Hi, my name's Graham Edwards. Welcome to the northeast coast of Scotland, just outside Stonehaven. And you're looking at the most famous castle in Scotland, Dunottar Castle. Dunottar is one of the most breathtaking fortresses in Europe. It sits on top of a huge rock with 160 foot cliffs on three sides that lead down to the North Sea. Dunottar began as a single chapel in 1276. Soon after that, the Scots realized that Dunottar was a perfect spot to defend their homeland against the English. In 1297, the famous Scottish renegade William Wallace threw all the English troops into this chapel and burned it. The structure of the rock itself gave the Scottish a home court advantage. The cliff that the castle uh, stands on is made of um, something called pudding rock, which is it's a conglomerate of uh, lots of pebbles. English invaders would have had to make their way out of rough seas and up this treacherous pudding rock to get to the front door. This is the only door that the garrisons of the English could get in, and if they did happen to get in, they'd be facing cannon fire, and there'd be gunfire from all the turrets. A very risky business coming in this castle. Because there is only one entrance to Donato Castle, they had to have an escape hatch, and it's right here. It's about a 15-foot drop, and it comes out right here and leads down to the ocean. The tower house served as the Nottle's centre of power over the centuries. It was built in the late 1300s by Sir William Keith, an officer to the Scottish King. The Keith family presided over the castle until the 1700s. Walking around the ruins makes it easy to imagine what life might have been like in medieval times. In 1694, these three doors led to a pantry, a beer cellar and a wine cellar. Two Chardonnays, please. <laughs> In fact, up in this castle, they only drank beer. No one drank water. Dunottar was the setting for two major historical events. In 1651, English forces, led by Oliver Cromwell, attacked the castle in order to seize the Scottish crown jewels hidden in the tower house. The fight lasted eight months, and when Cromwell finally got in, he found nothing. The crown jewels were smuggled out um, over a cliff. A lady smuggled them over in a basket, and they were buried up in a churchyard. In 1685, the Scottish King locked 167 people in this vault for refusing to join the Episcopalian Church. The prisoners had little food and no sanitation. Raw sewage ran down this grate. After two months, some had escaped and many had died. On this lawn, there's a gravestone here and it says, here lies a bairn. A bairn in Scottish is a baby. This child was eight or nine years old and it was buried here in 1685. These days, Donato draws thousands of tourists each year. Even Hollywood has come calling. Hamlet starring Mel Gibson was filmed here. It's a great peaceful place, um, although obviously it wasn't always that way, um, but it's just a magical place to come down. Thanks for visiting Donato Castle with us. Hope you come here one day yourself. Bye from now.